As usual, I always have to learn the hard way. And this year, I had to learn the hard way about row covers. So in this video, we're gonna go over why would you need row covers and how can we set this up for the garden? Let's go. What's going on my plant people? I am the ADHD gardener where I use gardening, houseplants, and humor as a form of mental health therapy. And we are gonna be setting up this row cover. As you can see, I started setting it up, but I'm not finished. So I figured I'd just take the opportunity to show you guys and talk about it while I'm setting it up. I really thought that I wasn't gonna need row covers and I'm thinking to myself like, why would you need them? The reason that you would want row covers is for bug control. The brassica family like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, collard greens, all those things, they will get eaten up alive by those cabbage moths. Those are those little white moths that you see flying around in your garden. Yeah, they look all cute, but they also eat all of your stuff. If you're gonna have a lot of vegetables, especially brassicas, you are going to need to row cover your veggies because I'm telling you, within two, three nights, your crops will be wiped out by these little cabbage moths and the little larvae and eating up all your stuff. I'm telling you, you gotta cover your plants. It will save you the heartache. First things first is you're gonna have to buy the row cover cloth. This you can find on Amazon. I got this off of Amazon. Chances are you're not gonna find the row covers in retail stores. You're just not gonna find it. So you, chances are you're probably gonna have to order it online. I got mine off of Amazon. You can go check it out. But they come really, really long. Now I got one long one, but I cut it in half being that I have different areas. Now I did set up a video on how to make a hoop house using the same things. So I'm gonna just recap on it. This can also double as a hoop house if you just have the right greenhouse plastic. But then again, I'll just drop a link to that video right up here so you can go check that out. But for now, I'm just gonna be using, doing a row cover. Now I already started as you can see, but I need one for the middle because look, it caves right in the center and I don't want that. So I'm going to be making another one of these. Now I did the same thing to the ends as you can see here. All I'm gonna do is you're gonna take your two foot rebar and you're gonna dig it in the ground. All right, I want at least half of it in the ground. You don't need a lot of it sticking or poking out of it, but you can still cover it, of course. The PVC is gonna cover it. So after that, you make sure that you're gonna line it up. All right, I need another rebar on the other side. Yo, whatever you do, be very careful when you're using this row cover stuff, man. This row cover is ridiculously, really, really fragile. It will grip so easily. So may I suggest being very gentle. I've already screwed up like two of them because I was too rough. I had so many freaking bugs eating all of my plants and I thought I was not gonna have so much of a problem. Yeah, right. What did I know? What did I know? To be honest, you don't need a lot sticking out of it. I have at least maybe about Less than a foot, at least like 10 inches, eight inches. I gotta say, this material, this sheet, is actually quite porous, so water will get through, but I noticed not a lot of water. So you're gonna have to find a way to get this watering down. Oh, look at that. Go ahead, bugs, try to get in this sucker. Ha, ah. woo, bam. This is gonna work out pretty good. Look at that. I like it, nice. This was an easy setup. It did not take a lot of time at all. So may I suggest get your row covers. I'm telling you, you're going to need them. You're gonna need them in the springtime and you're gonna need them in the fall time. Actually, you can use them the entire garden season. The only thing you have to keep in mind is when you're using a row cover is that you're not gonna get your pollinators inside of this. So if your plant needs to get pollinated in order for your fruit to show up, chances are the row covers is not really gonna work. If you have a bunch of veggie plants that don't need to be pollinated by your bees or anything like that, this is a good way to go because you can keep them covered the entire time that they're growing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it and you wanna show me some love, then don't forget to smash that like button. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I drop a video every Friday and then some in between. Also, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. I'm on there all the time. I love to laugh and I love to share a bunch of memes and whatnot, so you can find me there. And until the next episode, you guys, peace and love.